Yo, what's up guys? Today, I'm gonna be DMing 100 celebrities asking if I can tour their house. I will not be giving up until someone responds. So let's get right into it. First celebrity, in no particular order, no favoritism, no idea why she would be first, but Kylie Jenner. <laughs> I'm kind of embarrassed if I click message right now because I'm definitely gonna have old DMs with her. All right, message. All right, yeah, I see some stuff here. You know what? For you guys, I'm gonna scroll up to my first message. Oh, here it is. Okay, just some context before I read this. For those who don't no, I actually met Kylie Jenner at her house in her backyard for the Ace Family gender reveal video. So my first message was, hey Kylie, I don't know if you remember me, it was awesome meeting you. We should definitely collab one day. Let's just get into it. Hey Kylie, I think it would be awesome if I can get a nice house tour for my YouTube channel. Let me know. She's definitely gonna see this one. Okay, one down, 99 to go. I for sure have DMs with Drake. My only DMs with him is me tagging him in a picture saying, I hope you see this one day, main piece in my new career. He didn't. What's good, man? I love your stuff. Would love to make a YouTube video at your house and I give you the work in the 1v1. Let me know. Man, myth, the legend, Justin Bieber. Bro, I've been a huge Bieber fan for as long as I can remember. Let's give it a go. What's good, J-Man? I'm a YouTuber and would love to tour your house for a video. Huge supporter. Perfect. We gotta go for Taylor Swift. No DMs. Hey, Taylor. Would love to see your house. Can I get a tour for my YouTube video? Alright, next up we got King James. If LeBron gives me a house tour, it's over. I messaged LeBron back in 2020 saying, the day you notice me will be the greatest day of my life. Bronny is in my team. It's lit. Keep killing it. <laughs> hey, Legoat, I would love to film a video with you and do a house tour. Hey, sometimes you just gotta shoot your shot. Next up we got Ice Spice. Hey, Ice, I'm a munchkin. I'd love to see the inside of your house. For a YouTube video, it would just be so sick. Keep killing it. Guys, I got 94 celebrities to DM, so I'm gonna sit through that and do it right now. I will keep you all updated. All right, guys, we just sent 100 DMs to 100 celebrities, and now all we have to do is wait for a response. This could take hours, days, weeks, months, but we're making this video happen. <laughs> All right, guys, I just finished gaming. It is currently 9.49 p.m. Just like three hours after I sent all those DMs and we got a response from the legendary DJ and music producer, Steve Aoki. He said, if you can get to Vegas by tomorrow, let's do it. Looks like we're going to Vegas tomorrow. Let's go pack. It is hot there. All right, y'all, I'll see you all in the morning. Guys, these have been the craziest past 12 hours of my life. I got a DM from Steve Aoki telling me to pull up to his house by tomorrow. 12 hours later, we're here in front of Steve Aoki's house and he's about to give us all a tour. Let's go. Oh. Nice to meet you. Yeah, you got here oh, fast. It's a pleasure to meet you. Shoes off? Shoes off, please. Yeah. Dude, I am so excited for this. I've seen some like videos and stuff online and I'm like, seeing it in person is gonna be crazy. Oh my God, it's a skateboard wall already off the bat. Welcome to Aoki's Playhouse. Oh my gosh, no way. This is nuts. So this is the main floor. We got the kitchen here. Josh cooking up some nice food. What's up, Josh? What's up? <laughs> what is this? Like this is Banksy? Yeah, this is Banksy. So this is from the Dismaland exhibit, Mocking Disneyland. So all the, it's all, yeah, so it's all like themed around Disneyland, but you know, this time Mickey Mouse is getting Mickey eaten Mouse by a snake. Got, how much was this if you don't mind me asking? I think it was around 500,000 pounds. There's three of them. I know another guy, he sold his for 5 million. So it's oh, gone up a lot. 5 million? Yeah, it's a, it's a, <laughs> no, that's crazy. It's a big one. I can tell just from walking in, all the art pieces, all the decor, everything, you're into that kind of stuff. Yeah, lots of art, lots of toys, statues, yeah. really into collectibles. Yeah, this is a one I did a collaboration with Mr. Brainwash. I know it's probably a hard question to ask, but like if you were to choose one art piece that you have, do you have a favorite? I mean, it's of the big I mean, that's it's, like, it's like the number one. It's gotta be. Yeah, it sits right in the front, right when you walk in too. So I, I love that. I treated that horse like as a symbol of the house. Can we go check it out? Yeah. All of these on the wall too, the collectibles. Got BTS, Pokemon, One Piece, Dragon Ball. Are you into Pokemon like number one? Is that your I'd thing right like, there? Yeah, for TCG, I have like a pretty extensive Pokemon.
Pokemon collection. You got a Charizard? I got the PSA 10 Charizard, first edition. You gotta get the shoes on, you gotta what? put the hat on. I would love that. Let's get a shot of you up here. Let's go. This is awesome. I already could see the view of the strip. Was that like one of the main reasons why you wanted this house was like the view? Are you a views kind of guy or just? So the view is really important for me for sure. I, when I moved in here, I bought this house in 2013 and then I spent two years building this house, designed this whole house head to toe. Oh wow, it's, it's newly built. It did not look like what it looks like now, outside, inside, everything. This is a dream home for sure. I even pay attention to detail on like these lights right here. Are these lights or just like yeah. chandeliers? This is all aesthetic, but there's lights on top. So we got LED lights on top. A lot of it are these little details that me and my ex at the time, we shared a Pinterest board. Pinterest was like our way to communicate with design. This room is all steel. Wow. Steel plates all over across the board. Originally, this was an infinity table. I had to build on the other side of this wall. We broke through, put a 500 pound weight so it could balance with nothing underneath. And then it was too short. So then we had to extend it with this metal slab. Really thought the detail for each room, trying to make it unique and artistic. It honestly can't get much better than you building your very own dream house. Yeah. This is literally everything you envision and it got brought to life. This is the gaming hub. Oh, like the merch, because I have my own merch line, Dimok. Oh so these are all from my wardrobe upcycled clothes. These are all one of ones? These are all one of ones of where I'm on tour. Are you on tour right now? Are you going on tour? I do about 200 shows minimum a year for the last 17 years. 200 is crazy. Are, yeah. The grind doesn't stop. The grind never stops. It never stops. But yeah, I gotta show you this, man. It's a liquid coolant too? Like yeah. what? It's a 4090. I just got this in when I'm running COD. The graphics are so clear. What's your top three game? Warzone's one of them. Warzone is my number one, and now I'm learning League. Also, I want to give you this. Meta Zoo. Yeah, so Come on. This is a Meta Zoo. This is um, a company I, I co founded. Incredible community. Can I open it? Yeah, this is for you. Wait, like, can we open it like right now? Yes, open it. Oh, dude, yes. That's fire. All right, here we go, right, so man. Let's, let's, do right here. let's do it. Let's do it. All right, here we go. We need that luck. Let's go. Alaskan platypus. Okay. The EVP, EVP, Scry by Fire, the Bet Sphere, Grimoire, Grimoire. I don't know how to yeah. like if yeah, they're no. good, bad. Yeah, like yeah. you, you gotta let me know if I'm getting something yeah, I'll, good I'll here. I'll tell you when you get to the hollow. Ooh, okay, okay. There's a hollow. The you hermit. See, like, yeah, there's all the different. Okay, we got the reverse right here. Ooh, Tommy Knocker. Reverse hollow. That's your hit. Oh, this is the hit right that's, here. That's the hit. Ooh, okay. Yeah. Spirit Storm, Spirit Token, Lightning Storm, Frost Aura. Okay. Let's go, dude. Let's thank you for let's that. Go. And I can keep this whole box. Yeah, yeah. It's all for you. Man. Yeah, all let's you. go. I love the rugs. I see you're into some phase rugs here. Phase rugs. Wait, do these have to get custom made? Yeah. Don't sell these, right? Yes. I did a, an Aoki bear brick like 10 years ago. They made me this and that, that big one. Perfect yeah. placement right here on the yeah, stairs. Yeah. That's so cool. Dude, I'm telling you, everywhere you look is art. Up there, the brain I didn't even see. And a rug on every little square. Bro, this is... Whoa! Bro, what is this? This is 50,000 Legos. Yeah, it's pretty <laughs> crazy. I was saying just the room in general, like you have pretty much a whole other living room. Wait, or is this the main living room? The top floor is kind of like the kitchen, kind of hang. This is more like the home Vibe. Wait, I'm actually in shock. There's just as much art down here as there is up there. Yeah. Like I see a glass door there with like a giant cause piece. We'll show that later. You're a shoe guy? I am a huge shoe guy. Are we at Cool Kicks right now or what? This is crazy. Are these all your shoes that you own or you have a whole yeah. other? I have another room, which I'll show you, but this is all like color coordinated. I don't know if you know about these. Oh, the, yes, of course. I actually got replicas of them for a video. These are what, like 20K? I'm not sure, but I bought these the day they came out, 2012. I wish I got two. What was it retail? 1200. Is this like your room or is it a guest room? Guest room with that shoe wall is crazy. So this is what we call a shoe vault. Oh my God, it just keeps going. Wow. And every time you get dressed and everything, you come down here to get the shoes or like you wow. have your other main shoes. So I got like my main just up front. Okay, okay. Yeah, right by the door. Dude, look how high it goes. <laughs> if you were to say how much your shoe collection costs. So I had StockX come here. They valued every shoe a long time ago. It was like six years ago. Back then it was like 150K. Yeah, I don't know. It's hard to say. Cause 150 50k six years ago. It's definitely higher now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm really into tea. What's your favorite tea? It depends on the vibe and the caffeine intake. Tea is huge in like the Middle Eastern culture too. Yeah. I'm not like familiar with like all the kinds of teas, but yeah. me and my mom and dad, we drink uh, tea and milk. Oh yeah. I don't know if you've tried that. Yeah, 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 of course. Milk. We call it chai halib in my language. Wow. These are really cool. So these are Daniel Arsham Pokemon collabs. I have a few of his pieces all over the place. Just the color of the wall makes everything pop yeah. even more. Yeah, yeah, that's really important. This is the Samurai Cat, and this is uh, the Blue Giant iconic Japanese character. How do you even get these? Like, there's like websites to buy these on? Yeah. Or? I have a toy dealer. Oh my God, that's crazy. So he just drives up. He drove this up to me. Samurai Cat, 
Hiro Ando, the artist, he's my friend. They sent that to me. Oh, I've noticed this too, even upstairs. Is this like an air purifier? Yes, yes, yeah. That's so cool. I've seen like how much that actually helps. Oh my God. This is like for always knowing you're breathing really Fresh good, air. clean air in your own house. And it's custom to you. Like, yes. It's like it literally has you on there with LV. Like So I designed all these with them. They're called Surgically Clean Air. We have them all over the house. I know. I've noticed like three of them so far. Wait, you got to swing in here. <laughs> swing away, man. Is this one of the main parts of the house where you chill the most or do you find yourself more upstairs? So that upstairs cloud couch is life. It's okay. just like the full nap couch. You know, if I have like family over and stuff. Bro, this is great. I would just be here the whole day, bro. Just vibing. <laughs> oh, what's in here? Bro, I didn't even notice there was a door there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's kind of like a hidden door. What are we about to walk this into is... right now? Oh, the music library. <laughs> I think I just saw this on your Instagram. That is insane, bro. <laughs> it's actually a chair. So it functions as a chair. <laughs> You're lying. I sit on Steve Aoki's yeah. lab, bro. It's good, guys. Whoa, yeah. the ceiling. So that ceiling, I saw it on a Pinterest. It was behind of a bed on a wall. My uh, ex at the time was like, oh man, we could put that on the ceiling. Are you a basketball kind of guy too? Or do you not really like basketball? I follow it, yeah. Okay. I saw yeah. a signed basketball. Wait, is that Oscar Robertson? Yeah. Dang, that's so cool. You're into basketball? I love basketball. Yeah. Are you a Jokic fan? I'm a Lakers fan, so <laughs> they eliminated us. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, but Jokic is insane. Like you gotta give him credit where credit's due. He's a beast. I'm a Lakers guy, cause I'm from LA too, oh, so. Yeah. Here we go. Oh my gosh. Yeah. No. And it's soundproof in here. Yeah, it is. It's actually a great room to cut vocals if you wanted to. I haven't done that yet, but I should. Are these like the most prized collectibles that you have? Yeah, as far as like toys, yeah. these ones for sure. 10 years ago, I spent like around 50K each on these and I had four of them and I just recently sold one for 250. It's insane the investment on these things. Yeah. I'm just trying to soak all this in still. Like this is just mind blowing. And this is a really important piece too right here. Ooh, Tell me piece. about it. So this room is kind of dedicated to cause. I had to get like a really high end cause painting. It's insane. So this is one of my favorite pieces. So this room is a guest room. This with this bed really is super low. I love with that. With this custom bed and then this piece is just. No, that is sick. This is an amazing piece. This is Retina, LA artist. One of my first art pieces I ever bought oh. when I first made money. 2012 or 11. Is like 2011, 2012 like when you noticed your career taking off? Yeah. What was that hit that like made it? The though? hit was like 2010. 2009, I was already doing 300 shows. I was like 200, 300 shows. Oh. 07 was the first time I hit Coachella. That was a big moment in my career. This is the official Aoki's play. Okay, I was gonna say. So it's a gym. Also, it's a foam pit. <laughs> a foam pit, bro. Come on. So we got the oh. foam pit. We got the trampoline. Got the DJ booth. Oh, the DJ booth. And, and then the jump. The jump. We got to go to yeah. the jump. Wait, so how deep is it? It's pretty deep. You'll be fine. All right, here we go. Phase Rock, Aoki's Playhouse. Woo! Hey. <laughs> I was up there for a while. Dude, you were floating, bro. No, are you going to do it or no? Yeah, I'll do it. Okay, hold on. Drop your camera. Everything breaks. I'm ready, Noah. What is he doing? Hey, yes, sir. I gotta like check out the tramp too. Oh my, bro, you could just tell you're gonna go high. This is so sick. I feel like a kid when I'm in here. All right, wait, is it your turn? Okay, here we go for phase rug. Hey, <laughs> yo, that was sick. We gotta do an uh, Aoki jump together. So when you do the jump, you put your legs up like this. Ooh, I like that. Ready and. <laughs> Another downstairs. Last one. Dude, it feels like I'm in a hotel. So this is what we're doing. Oh no, we're gonna do a cold plunge. We'll do it later though. We gotta show you some more first. The longest I've lasted in there is 45 seconds. We're gonna do five minutes. Five minutes today. Five minutes minus four and a half minutes. Let's get it. Let's get it. Obviously, I'm gonna make it on the first try, but I just wanted to like shoot. Oh yeah. Oh, shot first shot. Okay. Hey. <laughs> Oh, we got the one mil plaque. Yeah. This is the OG plaque too. Now yeah. they're like smaller. Yeah. Got some records and stuff. Oh, the BTS one is crazy. How long ago was that? That was 2018. This one is 2017. This is, we had 1 billion views. 1 billion views. This is where all the magic happens, what pays all the bills in my whole house. Oh my gosh. Dude, this has gotta be the craziest studio I've ever seen. At least a home studio. Yeah. It has to be. The most unique for sure. I call it the Neon Future Cave. Every detail, like I said, just the ceiling, the walls. Yeah. The white and blue is crazy. But. Yeah, so blue is the main pop. It's my favorite color. Wait, this is the wall of people who've been in here? Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's like not everyone, because I sometimes forget to take, like Trippy Red was here. We didn't shoot that. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, there's a, a couple other artists that I forgot to take pics of because we were like so busy working. Vin Diesel, we did a whole session together. That's 2017. Wow. The booth right here. That's so cool, man. So you're going to get a shot in here too. Dude, that's an honor to be on that wall with all those legends. How does this stuff even work? Bro, like, what is it? This actually looks like it's from the future. All right, guys. One, two, three. 
Yeah, there it is. All right, so sign one of these. Keep one, and then sign one for the wall. And then, yes, definitely sign the this one. Dude, you're the first one now. You're the first one. First one to sign the phone block. It's crazy. It goes full circle because, bro, I used to do so many, like, phone block videos back in the day. And now I'm signing one for the first time in Steve Aoki's crib. That's so sick. Right, first please. one, just put number one. It's a one of one right here. Yeah. There it is, man. The right, first one, scary, you made it. Go. That's so sick. <laughs> so we got the ice, don't touch the ice. I just want you to just jump right I in. I know, yeah. if you touch it, it's way yeah, worse. Exactly, you're right. It's below 40, because it stopped at 40, it's probably at 36. It's nice and chilled. Here's the pool, pool 16 feet deep. 16? You'll right. never find a pool at 16 feet deep in someone's house. It's I was just gonna a, say. It's just like impossible. That sounds unreal. So we got that, we got the skate ramp. This is massive. Oh, uh, we got the sauna. Oh, you got the sauna too. Is it infrared? It's just a normal wow. like dry sauna. So this is another cold plunge. It's a water feature I turned into a cold plunge. So we could do like 20 people in here. 20 people cold plunge. I like this one more than the ice one. You know what I mean? Yeah, but the ice is gonna look great, man. <laughs> it's gonna look great. Hey, he cares about the shot. I respect that. I respect it. We'll go up here. Man, I'm not gonna lie. I get dizzy from these, bro. That's the jump, bro. Yo, Steve, listen. I'm already doing the cold plunge, right? I don't have to do this, do I? I think you have to. It would be awesome. I think you have to. We're about to do the cold plunge. Steve is gonna go first. Game time. Five minutes. Okay, Ready? Ready, set, go. Ooh, my head. There you go. I'm relaxed. I'm sleeping on a beach right now. It's so hot. Uh huh. I'm already good now. It's fine. You already like. I keep my feet like floating. Like I wanted to see my feet. Like, hey, hi, hi. <laughs> I'm putting it back down. I wanted it. The way it went back down. Uh, and the more you move, the more it hurts. Better it's to still stay relax. Still. Fire. The opposite of fire. <laughs> <laughs> no, literally. <laughs> Oh, that was it? That was it right there. He could go another five and do a head jump. Look at the ice cube on his foot. <laughs> He's a pro at this. Woo! And go. Oh. You must be on top of the world. Ah. Let's go. It's my turn now. Count me down. One, on three, two, three, go, go. All right, all good, all good. Lean back, I'll help you out. Lean back in, that was good. You relax everything, relax everything, relax your chest, relax your chest, one, two, three, and drop. Wait, wait. Just, just all good, all good, just stay here. Drop your chest, hold it, breathe. Wait, wait, wait. I can't, I can't, I can't. Hold up, hold up, hold up. It's okay, it's okay. <laughs> Yo, I couldn't breathe. Like, the thing that I hate is the mindset I have now is like, you like I failed. Get, no, no, you didn't fail. Okay. You tried. Bro, thank I'm, you, bro. Yo, thank yo, it's all about experiences, so you know? Yeah, of course. Okay, guys, so we're about to go into this other cold plunge. It's a little bit warmer than the last one, what, 50 degrees? It's still really cold, but I'm gonna try to at least break a minute and a half, at least. I gotta do it, man. Set. Now, go to the top so we can jump off into the pool. This isn't even the one. Another set of stairs right here. <laughs> Steve's about to do the 25 footer. Let's go! Hey. Yo, yo, that air time was crazy. Oh, like, but my hands are still shaking from the ice bath. I'm like trying to film like this. Are you jumping? No. <laughs> yeah. If you were here in person and saw this, yeah. It's way different. Let's go, Steve. All right, guys, we just sat in the sauna for about 30 minutes, had a really cool conversation with Steve. I just gotta say, he's one of the most motivational, inspirational people I've ever met. I learned so much about my health, just being here, about cold plunges, mental health, being in saunas, and how it reduces a ton of risks in the future, such as like heart failure, cancer. It can help decrease the chances of anything bad happen to you up to 50%. So I don't know, I'm just learning a lot and he's so down to earth. It's not even like you're talking to a celebrity. So I'm so glad I get to take you along on these adventures and I hope you guys got to learn something from him as well. Noah and Steve are still in the sauna. I got out after like 30 minutes and uh, yeah, it's just a beautiful day out here in Vegas. I think we saw the whole house. I mean, I'm sure we missed some stuff, but it's just this video would be five hours long if he showed us everything, but I'll pick up the vlog in a little bit. Okay. I got, I got some cool stuff for you. First of all, this is the Hero Quest Genesis. This is my album that came out last year, and it's got a promo card inside. Thank you. you can hold on to that. This is my book. I wrote this book a few years back. I love it. Thank you, bro. And then I got you some MetaZoo. So we opened up Seance. This is other sets. This is UFO. Each one has different stuff in it. So this one is all UFO cryptids. This is like cryptids that people find in the wild. Like Bigfoot is the main hit. This is Nightfall, but this is all cryptids found at night. So it's kind of like a Halloween box. And this is like an OG, but 
this is a second edition print. This is the Hero Quest 2.0 uh, set. This is the YouTube ones. So I got you three different cards. Bye. That's the uh, the Fog Hog. Thank you so much. Uh, I really appreciate that course, a lot. Bro. All right, we're gonna get your gifts right now too. This one's sick though. I, I've been using this one for the longest time, but we got oh the Phase Mirakami yeah. mouse pad. Yup, that is fire. You're dropping 40 every game. <laughs> Easy, dude. That is such a sick. What's for, is perfect for my so desk. Sick. We also did a collab with Naruto. A Naruto oh. shirt right here. Uh, I love Naruto. Yeah. I love anime. And then lastly, I dropped a collab officially with like Nickelodeon and the Rugrats, and I actually call my fan base the Rugrats. Okay, that's where uh, Rug came from. Definitely oh, can't wear wow. this in Vegas because of oh, the yeah, heat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So in the, winter, in the winter, I can. That's amazing. Thank you. Yeah, of course, of thank course. You. All right, Steve, I can't thank you enough for having me in your home and sharing it with all my fans as well. It was a blast. I learned a lot from you, and I just wanted to give you this cake right here, saying it's thank a you. Beautiful Steve. cake. You know what I'm gonna do with this thing, right? I think that's the reason why I'm like, giving it to you. I don't want to eat it. It would be an honor if I. I have, I, I have to cake you. Well, I already have this set up for you right here. Cake face time. Here we go. One, two, three. Ah. Let's go. <laughs> Woo. Yeah. Yes, sir.